All right, guys, how's it going? So I've had my Ford Maverick uh, for over a thousand miles already, and I thought I'd make a video about some of the things I don't like about it, and maybe it'll help you make your decision if you want to buy one or not. So yeah, let's let's get into it. So there, you can see the the odometer. I'm over a thousand miles. A thousand. 91 miles uh, That's a closer shot So yeah, I got the XLT hybrid and My first complaint about it is the steering It's kind of kind of stiff compared to To other vehicles that I've driven in my previous truck It's it's stiffer now it's uh not that bad but it's it is noticeable you are gonna notice it some people are saying that it's because it's a uh, electronic uh, steering it doesn't have a hydraulic pump on it so yeah that's one thing to consider it's a lot stiffer than other vehicles um my other complaint is that it makes a lot of it makes a lot of noises. I'm not I'm not talking about when when I'm driving. Uh, when it's off, you'll you'll hear it uh, clicking. And I guess uh, people are saying that it's the the contactors opening up uh, the fluid to cool off the battery. So yeah, you'll you'll hear it, and you'll be thinking, what's all that clicking? But yeah, it's a uh, it's a little bit noisy. It'll be clicking when it's off, so just take that into consideration when when you buy it. Now I guess the that that just uh, goes for the uh, for the hybrid because on the EcoBoost uh, it doesn't have a battery, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. That on the on the EcoBoost. Yeah. So my next uh, complaint is. Uh, is the brakes guys it gets it gets tricky especially in uh slow traffic or when you're pulling into a parking lot it's gonna take some uh getting used to it so you think you're you're used to it and suddenly you brake hard because uh, you, you're not used to it so yeah i wish the brakes were a little bit more refined but hey it is what it is all right, my next uh, complaint is the this headliner up here. I think the uh, especially the sunglass holder right here. That's probably gonna be like the first thing to break because it feels real cheap. This whole thing where you turn on the lights, this whole liner right here, it feels cheap. Even the the visors, I feel like I gotta be. A little bit delicate with them because uh, they're gonna break. So yeah, that's that's another complaint of mine. So yeah, I'm out here on the on the golf course trying to break a hundred. If you guys play golf, let me know what you shoot down in the comments below. If you're breaking a hundred, so yeah, it's a nice day. So I thought I'd take advantage and and come. Uh, Hit the driving range for a minute or two. All right, so let's get back to it. So the other thing is the the window. So yeah, you press it one time, and it goes down automatically without having to press it again. But once you try to raise it, you got to hold the button all the way up. It's not like other vehicles where you hit it once down and up and it goes all the way automatically so yeah that's uh that's about it guys i mean overall if i would have known about these issues beforehand would i still have bought the truck uh most likely yes because the the value uh the pros outweigh the cons so yeah as far as the um, especially the mileage right now i'm averaging uh 
what is it? Uh, let me say it's um. Uh, you could see there uh, on that trip, it's a uh, thousand fifty-three miles, and I'm averaging forty-four miles uh, per gallon, and that's about on my daily commute. That's driving about half half city stop and go traffic, and then about the other half uh, a highway, and that's about a round trip, about between uh, around twenty-five miles. So yeah, guys, uh, yeah, I would have bought it if I would have known those things beforehand, but I mean, those cons might change your mind. So yeah, just some things to take into consideration. Uh, if you guys uh, have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment or any complaints you have with your Maverick, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.